Hello, everybody. We're getting settled in for midday prayer. I uh, hope to see you all joining in with us. I'm getting things pulled up on my phone right now. So uh, give me just a second and um, I'll uh, get us started. Uh, I'm glad you all are here. Let me know you're here. You can post something in the comments. Uh, and that way I'll know that you are with us today. Um, looking forward to it. And, uh, and we'll kind of move from there. I see Jenny and Debbie and four other people are watching with us. So good to see you all here uh, as we gather on this day of um, kind of storm before the storm, right? Everybody's, I'm sure, wondering if it will snow or not. Um, we, we, I think we're, when snow days or snow is predicted, we all turn into little kids and we get to enjoy some beauty and uh, some peace, I think. So we'll get started ourselves today. Good to see Louise and Diane and Lynn um, and others. Uh, Gene and Tom are with us. Um, and um, we'll start as we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our cares and our concerns. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. So on this beautiful day, uh, middle of December, can you believe it? It's almost, uh, December is almost halfway there, 10 days to Christmas. Um, <clears throat> we have Psalm 144 in front of us today, a short section out of Psalm 144. Um, it comes from um, our readings through the Moravian, Moravian Daily Text. Um, and mine has a, a title in my Bible that calls this the Prayer for National Deliverance and Security, which I thought was appropriate um, for us uh, and for the, the world, actually, right? Uh, to be delivered and made secure. So um, here are the words uh, from Psalm 144. It's verses 1 through 4 today. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle, my rock and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues the people under me. O oh Lord, what are human beings that you regard them or mortals that you think of them? They are like a breath. Their days are like a passing shadow. Now, I will have to admit, when I first read that this text this morning, the first thing I did was to try to go find a different text to reflect on for midday prayer today. I also had devotions in staff meeting, and I was trying to do both of those things with one text. And, um, you know, when I read um, words that are attributed, the psalmist words that are attributed to David, those first couple of verses, where um, uh, God is being blessed for being the rock and the, the one who gets us ready for war and for battle. Um, I, I, I didn't like what I heard. And I remember a seminary professor telling me that when you stumble over scripture like that, the best thing you can do is to keep reading and to keep reflecting. And so these words that are attributed to David, um, they do offer thanksgiving and praise for God's sustaining power in this battle that he's had, for victory in a battle and for presence um, through all that first, you know, I think through all that he's gone through. And as I said, at first, this seems so unsettling. Um, but see, what I want to hear is, I mean, it's Advent, right? We're looking into Christmas. And what I want to hear are words of comfort and joy and words of peace and calm words of unity and hope and love. But all I heard initially was kind of a resounding uh, affirmation of the brokenness of God's world, a world that has to have war and battles and where you have to build fortresses and uh, you have to be delivered and, and you know, you have to fight. And then verses three and four, I hear them again. Oh, Lord, 
What are human beings that you regard them or mortals that you think of them? They are like a breath. Their days are like a passing shadow. And I thought about that. I mean, because, I mean, the psalmist is actually saying, you know, basically we are, we're not, the, we're not much. Uh, we humans are temporary. We are dust, right? And I thought about our breath prayer and how we we pray each time that we breathe in the breath of God. And I was reminded that it is the breath of God that breathed life into that dust in the beginning. It's the breath of God that breathes life into us. And what a gift it is that God's breath will keep breathing life into us, that God will remain faithful even though we are dust, even though we are temporary. And so what I ended up hearing is this promise, I think, of God's protection and God's presence through all of the challenges that are the realities of our world. And so our life can be enhanced by knowing that we're while, while we don't minimize the reality of the struggles that we have, we also aren't going through those struggles alone. But instead, we're going through those struggles surrounded by the presence of our God who promises to be with us always and who remains faithful to that promise no matter what. And when I reflected in that way, I heard hope. Maybe I heard comfort and joy. Maybe I heard peace. But I definitely heard love. And it is that God who is the God of our nation and all nations who loves us so very deeply in whom we can find our rest, right? So our folks from Trinity Camp Hill are going to sing for us again and hear their words again. Um, they're going to sing a song that's going to talk to us about God's love made real in the person of Jesus. So that's um, as we are entering into this late, latter part of Advent and into um, kind of the threshold of the Christmas season. We remember that um, God's love was shown to us most radically in the birth of Jesus himself. Hear these words and be blessed. Jesus, comfort for all who mourn. You are the source of heaven's hope on earth. Jesus, light in the darkness. Jesus, truth in each circumstance. You are
Lord, we believe. Let us pray. God of our hope, God of our dreams, God of our fears, God of our lives, we give you thanks for the gift of hope that we have through your Son, Jesus Christ. We give you thanks, God, for your promise to remain faithful to us as our God, to deliver us from all that, that causes us pain and suffering, and to bring us fully into a relationship with you simply because as you look down on each one of us, you see worth. You see a child of God. You see good. You see hope and you see love. And because you see that in us, we ask God that you help us to see that, help us to see that as we look into the eyes of our neighbor, that we can see your presence with, in, with them and in them always. We've got several folks on our prayer list, folks, that God, that um, are in need of your healing presence and your healing touch. And so we pray that that healing presence surround the following folks, uh, Dwight Rice, Ruth McCullough, Susan Harris, Will and Norma Spicer, Tim Spicer, Kyle and Shannon Spicer, Luke Collins, Noah Hall, Margaret Fulkemer, Shelley McLaughlin, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fales, Rebecca Neal, Jeff, Glenn Hardesty, Kim Brady, Carol Brzezinski, Betty Crandall, Connie Koss, Charles McCarthy, Susan Bethke, McKenna Day, Thelma James, Esther Merson, Barbara Dareth, Debbie Moss, Jane Cox, Kirsten, Beth Webb, Lauren Mueller. And those that we name silently or aloud at this time, including Lynn, who has an outpatient procedure on Thursday, Snow Willing, Steve, Pastor Kelly, Holy God, you are our hope in life, our hope that bridges between this life and the life to come. It's a hope in which we rest a lot of our grief. And today, God, we ask that you be with the family and friends of Jack Overton, a little boy, six years old, that we've been praying for for months, who died this past week of his brain cancer. Be with his parents, his friends, his neighbors, all of them who are grieving his death. Comfort them. Let them know that they are not grieving alone, but that they are surrounded by a group of, of their fellow disciples. And we look forward to that day, God, when death will be no more. There will be no more crying or pain. It is a day that you promise will come, and we um, anticipate that day and look forward to when we will be in your presence forever. And now, God, we come before you and we pray the words that the Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. We breathe in the love of God. We breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. We breathe in the life of God. We breathe out our work and our worry. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace today and always. God bless. Uh, I will see you on Friday. Pastor Tamika will be with you on Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Have a great Tuesday. Enjoy the snow. Uh, be safe. Amen. <laughs>